Hello good people, welcome to 247 Saga TV, the home of amazing and mind-blowing videos. Hello guys, we are back yet again with another mind-blowing video. The video is about Zeno Liski. Right here, we will be revealing his true reality and alleged fake lifestyle, including his biography and hidden facts about him. We will also talk about his level boss Neramale and Mobad. As you watch the video, we would like you to do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button and the bell icon below. That will motivate us to upload more amazing videos and you will also get notified when we drop another interesting video like this one. Before we talk about his hidden fake lifestyle, let's first look into his true biography and unknown facts about him. His real name is Oniyide Aziz, however, he is professionally and popularly known as Zino Liski. Zino Liski is a talented Nigerian singer and songwriter. The young singer was reportedly born on April 21, 2000 in the mainland district of Lagos to a Muslim parent, Mr. and Mrs. Aziz. Talking of his early life, Zino grew up like a regular kid in the hood. His parents were not rich and he attended public schools. He had his primary and secondary education in Lagos. Zino reportedly attended Kiddies Nursery and Primary School and also attended Boys Secondary School at Gege. Zino Liski tends to keep his family, especially his siblings, off the media. Talking of his music journey and how it all began, Zino Liski fell in love with music from a very tender age. In an interview, he said he has been doing music since his primary school days but started doing music professionally in 2014. Because that, Zino got widespread recognition after him and his very good friend Lil Frosh started posting their short freestyles on Instagram. Their freestyles went viral on social media which led to them getting record deals. Talking of how he got his stage name or nickname, the young superstar revealed that his name Zino came from a Yoruba movie that he liked and also always talked about, which was titled Zino. He said his fondness with the movie made his friends in primary school to start calling him Zino. So when he wanted to get into the music industry, he decided to add the Liski to make it unique as people were already bearing Zino. Because that Zino Liski's big break came in 2019 after he was signed by Nera Male into Malian's record. But before the Malian's record deal, there was Davido's DMW record deal. Report added that he was offered a record deal by Davido's label DMW together with his friend Lil Frosh, but he declined it because it wasn't favorable for him. However, Zino Liski didn't address or debunk the reports. Zino Liski's best friend was signed to Davido's DMW, but unfortunately, the record deal was short lived. Davido's record label dropped Lil Frosh after he got heavy backlash from the public for his alleged fight with his girlfriend. Speaking of how he got signed to the Nera Male Malians record label, Zinoliski disclosed that he first sent a DM to Nera Male wanting a song with him and other music related stuffs. But the Malians boss told him that he had other plans in mind and that he was working on a new record label named Malians Music. And that was how Zino became a Malian artist. Tell me about Zeno too. Yeah. yeah. So we said because I went for a feature, as you just said now, and I can remember I went for a feature. I wanted to do the remix of Balance Ya Gong 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 Mofet. Then so he just switched to me and said. So it's once. crazy. He just told yeah. us here that yeah. he had like another idea in mind that like he's trying to start up Mali music and all that. And immediately I told him I was in because I just feel like that's my kind of vibe. You get me? Mm. What's the kind of vibe? Girls? Money? No, no. <laughs> what, what exactly is the kind of vibe? Talk to me. I, I don't know. I just get, I, I guess it's my spirit that, mm. that just, I, I, I go along with, with whatever my spirit tells me. Mm. So. And ever since then, Sinoliski's music career has flourished as he has continued to dish out hit songs after hit songs. Now let's hit the hammer on the head by talking about his alleged fake lifestyle. It is a common knowledge that artists making hit songs back to back are rich. However, in the case of Zinoliski, this seems not to be true. Because that Zinoliski bought his first car in 2019 when he was still an independent artist. Well, according to the reports, that might be the only property legally owned by Zinoliski after all these years of making hit songs under the Malian music label. Remember in June 2023, the one heated online beef between Zinoliski and another superstar Sheyi Vibes. 
Shei Vibes called Zinoliski a record label slave. As at that time, the saying didn't attract scrutiny because it seemed like just a regular name calling amongst beefing artists. But the whole matter turned out to be serious in September 2023 after the sudden passing of Mobad, which led to so many accusing fingers on the Malian label and their boss, Nera Mali. Following the calling out of Nera Mali and his team, so many videos and secrets slipped out and made the news. One of which was from a popular Nigerian producer named Idi Kabasa. In the video, Idi Kabasa accused the label of mistreating their artist. He went further to say that some of the properties bought by their artist was said to have been bought under the name of the label, which means the properties are legally owned by the record label. Watch. And let us be careful with some of the things that we see these guys do. This name can you do me go? Because I saw I started hearing some other stuff coming from that label that even some of the things that they said they bought for the other guy, the house, the cars were not in that boy's name. <sighs> Omo, that is wickedness of the highest order. How long are we going to be here for? That we'll be treating the other human ah, long that will be treating a fellow human being eh? that will be treating fellow human being uh, alone like they are mad like it's madness it's wickedness their minds are twisted their mind is totally twisted as in his wrinkled why would you why would because the idea of all of these things is for him to have the soul behind it is for me as a record label owner to know that yes i'm going to make money from this thing but i should also remember that this guy that i'm going to work with eh, is also human he needs a life i have worked with a whole lot of artists not all of them bleep until date even the ones that bleep it's only boy it's only born a boy that has my type of ferrari only born a boy that's my type of ferrari out of all these artist people don't play with me. Don't play with me. Show him my watch, mama. <laughs> Don't play with me. Under the Malian music, Zino has went on to purchase a Chevrolet Camaro said to worth 22 million Naira. Another is a Jeep Wrangler valued at 19 million Naira. His recent purchase was a Ferrari 458 Italia valued at a whooping sum of 120 million Naira. Aside the cars, Zinoliski also acquired a mansion. He bought the house on December 2022. The price is still unknown, but from the location and beauty of the property, it is safe to say that the house worth so many millions of naira. Idi Kabasa's comments have left so many tongues wagging. But do you believe Zinoliski's lifestyle is fake? Or do you think he truly owns his properties? Tell us what you think in the comment section below.